Hi everyone, my name is Corey Haywood and I will be conducting today's feature focus video. In this video we're going to focus on the brand new feature in Tracer Plus 9.0, Conditional Logic. Now just to give a quick overview of what Conditional Logic is going to allow you to do in your applications, uh, I'm going to display a couple of different actions here with a couple of different uh, events going on. So just to get started, what I've done here is I've put together a simple logic project where we have different color values in this drop-down field number five here. Now as we select these different colors, red, blue, and green, uh, the form is going to dynamically change based on which one we select. So if I select the uh, red color here on my device, you'll notice that I've situationally changed the color of the tab control up here to red and also displayed our red field here. Um, now if I enter some data in here, and I submit this, you'll also notice that it's going to reset the form back to its default uh, color there. And so likewise, for blue and green, I've also configured a uh, similar setup here. So if you select blue, it's going to change to blue, and it'll display the blue field. And then the same thing with green. So all of this is done with the new conditional logic feature. And um, to access that feature, what you would do is you'd configure your form just like you normally would. And once it's configured, you'd enter the logic menu here uh, using the toolbar icon here with the lightning bolt. And what this is going to do is when you select it, it's going to bring up your logic menu. Uh, th this kind of where you create and organize your logic, uh, th that's kind of the driving factor behind all these uh, things going on in the form. So just to look at uh, a couple of the ones here, uh, if we look at this first one here, this one's the logic item that's controlling the color shift on the tab control. And uh, just to uh, kind of explain how you would set this up, um, <clears throat> basically what we're saying here is uh, we're creating an event, and then depending on our condition here, uh, that's what's driving that event uh, to the action. So in this case, we're using a field value changed event on our field 5, our drop down control here. And we're saying if this uh, drop down control number 5 is equal to the value red, we want to set the back color of our action control number 3, the tab control, to red. Uh, you could actually support an else <coughs> in most of these conditions here. I have chosen not to do that in this case because we have three different colors that we're using. Uh, if you were using, say, just red and blue, you can kind of uh, configure that uh, how you'd like with the else. Uh, so <coughs> going off of, off of that, item number two and item number three are going to be identical to item number one, with the only difference being the condition uh, of what triggers the, the logic item and then the a actual action color. Um, if we look down a little bit further, you notice we're still using that field value changed event uh, selection here uh, on the same control and the same conditions. Uh, but what's changing here is the action. Uh, what we've done is, is we've used a set visible action here to uh, kind of display those, those fields on the bottom depending on what color you've selected. And this is an example where we are using that else. Uh, basically saying if, if red is selected, display these red fields. If it's not, do not display them. And then uh, towards the bottom here, we have some form initialized events. And what these are going to do is, uh, this is what's handling the reset back to the default form color after you've done your submit. Um, <clears throat> anytime you, you're using logic, it's, gonna, it's going to change the way the form looks. And you have to consciously kind of think of a way to change it back to the way it was. Uh, otherwise, it's going to stay in that state. So the form initialized event is a great way of doing that. Because uh, it will trigger any time you do a submit or any time you reset the form uh, in any way. And so uh, it, these ones here are just setting its visibility back to false and changing the color of the tab control back to its uh, default color there. So that's pretty much all I have lined up for the logic demo today. Uh, it, what I'd also like to do is show some of the events and some of the actions that I haven't used. Um, so just to kind of select here, we're going to look at the drop down. And you'll notice we, we do support a lot of different events. Uh, anything from the field value change to an on click. Uh, you could even do on a validation failed or successful. Uh, you can use 
all of these features here to trigger your logic to do the different things that you're looking to do. And then likewise, if we look at the action drop down here, you'll notice uh, we have a bunch of different actions here, anything from clicking a button to executing custom SQL. Uh, you can even situationally go to different uh, pages of your application, different tab pages. Uh, so you could pretty much uh, on the fly kind of do things that you can never do before in Tracer Plus. That pretty much concludes the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.